1978 Volkswagen Super Beetle, except I take it back. It's a super duper Beetle. This thing's sitting on a full frame with a V6 motor up front, 4.3 liter, has a 4L60 overdrive trans, 342 gears in the back. Uh, it's a neat little car. 1,300 hours were spent building this thing. Uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you find a price tag on every car, including this one, and there'll be a monthly finance option as well. But for right now, it tops down. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, so it's a GM drivetrain, uh, but right now we'll talk about the body. The body itself is all stock. The Super Beetle was a little bit wider than the original ones, so the motor fits in there, which we'll look at uh, shortly. But this is all excellent body work, all really nice, uh, pristine, show quality body work on, on the body itself. Door shuts very nicely, all clean, no rust, no damage. This is finished like a, like a high-end show car. All of this is in excellent shape, beautiful. Now, the fenders. Have you even noticed? I didn't mention it yet. I was wondering if any of you caught on. They're five inches wider than the original fenders to accommodate the tires and the chassis that this is sitting on. These are all metal. Uh, the, the, bond, the strip in the middle was metal, so it's all steel. The whole car is steel. Uh, all four fenders were made four inches wider. There's no evidence of any body work. They did an excellent job. Door shut so nice. All this nice, clean, beautiful body work. Outstanding. Uh, really eye-catching metallic green. I'm noticing as it goes around, it's like a, a much different green here than it is here because uh, of the way the light's hitting. It's all painted one color, but it really flips and flops as it goes around. Now, there'll be a minor, like a little rock chip right here, a tiny chip right there. There'll be some insignificant minor flaws like every car will have. There's a little tiny chip right here. Um, but the paint is wet, sanded, buffed, polished beautifully. Uh, has some custom-made running boards. Yeah, they're made out of metal as well with some chrome strips and rubber strips on top. The moldings down the side look very straight and polished. Door handles are an 8 out of 10. A few little freckles on them. Has a stock tail lights, uh, stock bumpers. I don't think they were widened. Uh, painted body color. The black convertible top looks new. It has a glass uh, window in the back. So that's in real nice shape. The rubber seals have been replaced. Even around the windshield, the windshield itself looks new. Sitting on 15 inch US mag wheels with a GM uh, bolt pattern uh, with some nice Cooper Cobra tires, nice fat tire, has a nice uh, rim on the wheel there. So um, looks good, looks nice and meaty and fat. These look new, headlight bezels look new. You might notice the scoop under the front. That's to push air into the aluminum radiator. So why don't we open it up? I'll show you what is inside this car. So this is normally where the engine would be in a Volkswagen. Uh, this is where the battery and the fuel tank are now. New rubber seals. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon so you're notified when the videos are posted. We do videos of the showrooms, the cars. We do a lot of little fun short videos. So new seals around the doors. The inside of the doors are painted. Uh, looks like brand new stock Volkswagen door panels, armrest, window cranks. Has a nice little mat pocket. So completely custom uh, dashboard here. Um, it has the GM, that's actually a 97 GMC Sonoma is what we're sitting on. And that looks like the instrument panel from that car. Uh, it has heat, actual heat in the car with the radiator. Um, this is all one of a kind custom. New carpet down on the floor, custom console. Uh, here's your heat controls. I'm not sure what the other buttons are. I'll find out for us before we finish. 
Uh, here's a nice armrest. I love a good armrest. Uh, nice sport bucket seats that recline. Uh, and then it, we got reclining uh, retractable shoulder belts. And then here's where your storage space would be. Uh, you want to go golfing or get away overnight and pack some bags. There's your storage, all nicely carpeted. The side panels are replaced with the original type. And it has the GMC steering wheel with the Carmen emblem, emblem Carmen Ghia. Visors look like they're new. All right, let's get up front and check out that motor. We acquired this from a long time customer going back decades. So yeah, 97 GMC, 4.3 liter V6 motor, and uh, I believe it's all stock. I don't see anything that looks out of place to me. You know, the uh, carburetor or injection, I think it's carburetor, and the valve covers and manifolds and the old front runner system, the alternator, serpentine belt, pulleys, it all looks stock to me. They've added a nice VW emblem where the air conditioner would have been sitting. And it is upgraded with this Champion aluminum radiator. Uh, so you do have heat. It actually has, you know, coolant flowing through the engine opposed to the original. And that's about all I can tell you under here. Now I'm sure it makes a few more horsepower than the original engine would have. Now Michael's going to go demonstrate what it'll do on a test drive. We'll see you in a few minutes. Everybody got something a little different here today. The Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible. This one's built on the GMC Sonoma chassis. Very interesting. The uh, the engines in the front, as it would be on the GMC. And there's some electronics and other things uh, in the back where the engine would traditionally be. So I got in, started right up, of course, fuel injection on the Vortec V6. Um, started easily, seems to run very nicely. No qualms there, good oil pressure, all the gauges are working. Uh, they did go ahead and borrow the gauges. I, I believe those are from a GMC Sonoma as well. And the uh, steering wheel too, it does have a tilt column. I'll show you right here. Uh, power steering also. Front disc brakes on this one. Pedal feels pretty good. So they put this little custom, custom dash in here, custom center console with armrest. Um, it does have an aluminum radiator with a electronic fan, and this is how to turn it on right here. And yeah, and all the gauges seem to be working. We're coming right up to temperature. It's got almost a full tank of gas, showing a charge and fantastic oil pressure. Now let's see what she's got. Very nice acceleration there up to highway speeds with absolutely no issues at all. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a 78 and it's got the modern drivetrain in it and that's pretty much, uh, you know, how it drives, like much more modern vehicle. will definitely uh, put a hurting on a uh, stock Volkswagen there uh, if you did a, uh, a little side-by-side -side race with it. So, yeah. No complaints on this one. I think the seats are out of the uh, Sonoma as well. So they do recline the high backs, extra support on the sides. This is a fun driver here. If you pull up to the car shows in this and, and pop the hood, uh, you're gonna get nothing but, but questions and conversations about what it is and how it was done and everything like that. So yeah, fun experience. Of course, open air, can't beat it. 
turnkey reliability of the fuel injection system. Can't beat that either. So our shop went over this. There was a couple little tweaking things that they did, but nothing major at all. If you need the full service history, you can absolutely go on our website and get a, uh, a listing of that. And if you want to come test drive, you're more than welcome to do that also. Uh, come visit us in Volo, Illinois. You're always welcome here. We're totally transparent. And you can spend as much time with the vehicle as you'd like. We could also put it up on a lift for you if, you if that's something that you need. But yeah, as I see it, runs and drives really good. Check out all the details, pictures, and the full description on volocars.com. So I didn't mention, but these have a liner on the inside, which looks to be in really nice shape. Uh, originally, is to keep the heat in, uh, but it looks good. It covers all the top irons and everything. So the underneath of this car, it's solid, it's rigid, it's on a full steel uh, GMC frame. Uh, it has the GMC independent suspension up in the front uh, with the factory disc brakes. Uh, they did put a custom rear suspension. It's a four link with tubular control arms, uh, coil over adjustable gas shocks. Um, <clears throat> to open the hood, the first latch is in here, you pull it, and then the button on the handle is the secondary latch. So very solid, rigid car, you're not gonna get flexing and twisting with all that major horsepower. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's aluminum oil pan. Uh, as I said earlier, it's a 4L60, uh, overdrive automatic and back is a 10 bolt with 342 gears. Uh, the floors look like they're all reconstructed. They're all new metal. Uh, so you got a neat little car here. You go to the car shows, you open the hood, uh, people are going to get a kick out of it. Or when you beat them at the stoplight. Go to volocars.com. Salesman will help uh, answer your questions like how to get this delivered and how to get it financed. I know I didn't find out the answers to some of those questions on the console, but look at our ad uh, at volocars.com. Thanks for watching.